Hello everybody, Gino Sour Boy back with some more Mario Kart. Haven't done this in a while, have I guys? Uh, sorry for the camera being slanted. Let me see if I can just click. No, no, there. Oh, there, that actually looks pretty good. Alright, I'll keep it like that then. Um, let's move it back a bit. And there we go, there we go, there we go. And we're going to do the Banana Cup on 100cc by myself because we can't do multiplayer because I'm afraid that my new dog will absolutely destroy everything. You've seen the chip vlogs, he's a monster. Anyway, oh, I'm feeling some sub with some red. You want know something? Wario. Uh, banana. I'm a banana. I'm a banana, I'm a banana, look at me, move! Yeah, banana power, banana power. I'm sorry for that, the buzz in there, guys, that is, it's weird. That's really weird. It's so weird it annoys me. I mean, one moment, two guys. Let's see if that fits some, let's see if... That fixed nothing, but okay. I'm gonna find that. We're fine with that, guys. We'll turn the light back on. You could say that Lacky 2 works at Subway. Wait, I'm confused. The couplings are in Mario Kart 8, but Bowser Jr. isn't? How is that even sensical? He's in the new Mario Brothers games. He is one of the main villains in Mario history. Legitimately, he should be in every single Mario Kart from his debut, but he's not in this one. Can't wait for Deluxe, though. That comes out when the, the Wii, the Nintendo Switch comes out. I'm so glad it's not another Wii. We got enough DS's, we don't need multiple Wii's. Um... Just to let you guys know, next Let's Play that's coming out, Pikmin 2. Reason why Pac-Man 2? Because I freaking love it. Um, will it be played on the Wii version? Yes, I'll be switching. I'll be switching the title of the um, of the playlist for that Pac-Man. I might actually just switch the titles for all the Pac-Man videos to Pac-Man, uh, Pac-Man Wii or Pac-Man Wii version. And then, you know, the rest of the title. But, like, being the banana cup, I have this banana. I'm gonna keep this banana, because no one's ever. no one's attacking me. This is probably very boring for you guys, because it's just me up in front. Trust me, when we get to 150cc, it's not gonna be me up in front by myself anyway. You guys will be uh, in the future be seeing a Dead Island Definitive Edition Let's Play. Uh, I'll be, in, of course, I'll be not 100%ing the game because 100%ing Dead Island is really, really hard. Like it's really difficult. Getting every single mod, um, on doing every single quest getting around the entire map, that's really difficult. So please don't expect me to 100% that game. I'll be 100%ing Mario games and all the Pikmin games, because they're easier to 100%.
Uh, Pac-Man 3 is exponentially easier than Pac-Man 2, to 100%, because in Pac-Man 3, once you reach, once you get a certain amount of fruit, which is what you collect in that game, it actually shows you the locations of fruits on the map that you haven't collected, and if it's in an area that you haven't been, it will show up as a star. Oh, Waluigi's in this one. I just looked at the mini map, and Waluigi's there. Now, when my dog gets bigger, we'll be moving all my rec we'll be recording mainly in the living room, just to let you guys know. But until my dog gets bigger, I have to record in here so that he doesn't bite any of the wires and electrocute himself. Because he is only 10 weeks old, guys. He's not, you know, he's, he's not an old dog, he's a pup. He's not even, he's not even three months old, he's only two. And one week. Which is pretty damn young for a dig. Actually, Let's get on the topic of dogs, since I've got my new dog, and I'll be doing stuff called chip vlogs, which you guys already know about, because they'll be out before this. Oh wait, they're, they're already out as I'm recording this, so what am I talking about? Go look at chips vlogs! Link not in the description. Uh, uh, so I'll, so the way I'm doing Mario Karts is, I'm doing them in reverse, of course I'll be doing, uh, any new ones that come out, out of order, like, because I want to do the newer ones before I do the older ones, because I'm crap at the older ones, I want you guys to see how good I can be, so that when you see me play, you'll be bitterly disappointed at my crappy gameplay on every other version of Mario Kart. Royal Raceway from N64. Oh my God, I love this banana cup. Let me see. Um. So don't know if I've talked about this on camera. I know I've been complaining about it to my family oh so, oh so many times. But Nintendo hates me. They hate me because I've been copyright claimed three times on my videos. And a little known fact, my videos don't make money. When copyright claiming, all it does is that they earn money off of my content, which you want to know something I'm fine with. But I don't monetize my videos, so I don't get money off of them. So what they're doing is, is all they're doing is nothing. It's just a means of pissing me off. And that's boomerang. Bloopers are not the most annoying items in the game. They're really not annoying in the slightest. They're easy to work around. And all together they're just they're they're just not difficult things to be tricked by. Like I did uh, I did run into the grass there, but that was because I drifted too much. People say green shells are, are crap. Screw you. Green shells are awesome. At least there was some form of action in this in that in this race, unlike the last race. Now I want to state something before we get into 100 cc, before we get into 150 and then 200 cc. I already recorded the mushroom cup on 200 cc. Um. So I think Nintendo. Actually, before I continue, I think Nintendo is outright watching my videos and is just waiting for a perfect chance to copyright claim them. Like, waiting for me to slip up. 
the whole thing about how the international color for charging is red is not a reason to copyright claim it. Me saying gamepad is not a reason to copyright claim me because it's part of the product. And firstly, me playing your product and not getting paid for it is me freely promoting the product for you guys. I'm playing it on my channel for free, which promotes your product. I'm getting screwed. For what reason? I know, for no reason. I'm not, I haven't even done anything wrong. Yes, you have to be careful around saying certain things on camera, like my thing, me telling the secret about the whole Animal Crossing thing, that was my mistake and I'm sorry, but I don't get paid to, you, to do YouTube. I want to get a job in the actual workplace that is, that you get paid for. I don't care if I have to work at McDonald's, I don't care if I have to work at a, at a store. If I get paid for it, I'll know I'm at least doing something besides sitting in front of a TV screen talking to people that I don't even know. Who don't, who don't really care, all they're doing is trying to get anybody who has a lower subscriber count than you is only trying to get a shout out by being nice. And it really, it really annoys me when people just want to get shout outs. I tried to be creative with my title and I got cr with my titles by putting extra stuff in. I got criticized for it saying I'm copying every other big YouTuber. And that really annoys me because all I'm trying to do is create content to entertain people that watch. And what do I get? I get a criticism that's not constructive in any forms of way. It could be taking constructive, but I'm not taking it constructively because they're, like, they're calling me out for something that doesn't even concern them because they're not the YouTuber themselves. It just really annoys me as well when YouTubers say that someone's copying them when they don't know where the person comes up with a start with, with the idea. And, that, and that's where my next series of, of I'm going to be doing some some scripted videos where I talk about a, a subject. It's as in scripted, I, I, I'm writing like a script so I remember what to say, guys. I'm not like, uh, you know, doing some form of like roleplay or anything. Because no, that's... I mean, I like I like roleplaying games. They're, they're pretty fun. Like, I like Dungeons and Dragons. I've never played it. I wish I played it, but I haven't. I like I just so um I just wanna I just wanna state something. Um there's a channel called Cinemasons out there, I don't know if you've heard about it. They're they're pretty they're pretty big. Um but they do videos where they, it's called Everything Wrong With, and it's a, um, and it's a series where they, uh, bring up, uh, holes in, in the, in movies, and I find it entertaining, because the guy that does, any of the people that do the announcements, they're actually, they have voices for that kind of job, and I find it quite funny, and so does my sister. Um... Well, and then, whenever someone else does something like everything wrong with, like a game or an episode in a cartoon, they say it's parried, uh, parodied off of CinemaSins Everything Wrong With. And I'm like, okay, these guys are given some credit. And, oh, we'll, we'll continue this talk in the next episode when we do the Leaf Cup, guys. I've been Juno Cyberboy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.